You know, I used to say it was either going to be the young ladies, late teens or early 20s, that just developed large breasts. And then there were the post-mommy patients whose breasts were quite heavy after nursing and potentially some weight gain after pregnancy. But I'm now seeing a third wave of patients, and these are patients in their late 50s and into their 60s. And I've even done a couple of patients in the last year in their early 70s who are finally getting around to having their breast reduction. And I always ask them, what took so long? And it's usually they were thinking about everybody else but themselves, right? They had a husband to take care of. They had their family to take care of. They never thought they would really get it done. And then something inside them, or maybe they had a friend, and they finally come in and say, you know what? I think I want to do this. And they are equally (laughs) ecstatic about having that operation done. They feel so much better afterwards. But I I chide them gently, like, "Hmm, you should have been... You should have been in to see me 10 or 20 years ago. And they, yeah, I know, but I'm glad I got it done. And I always have to explain to them that every breast reduction includes a lift. It would be funny if we made breasts smaller, but they stayed, <laughs> they stayed droopy. That would be a sad, a sad result. So yes, every breast reduction has a lift. But for the cosmetic patients, of course, they want the, you know, the better shape and the higher breasts and they're not droopy looking. But even those patients have less weight and their backs and necks and and they could, you know, some of them, it's so liberating that they can buy a bra off the rack that, you know, some of these patients have always had to have specialty bras, right? So just being able to go to the store and find a bra easily makes them very happy. 